A reading from 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 25. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Our ability to remember reveals the marvel of our Creator, for we were formed to remember. Memories return to us in various ways. The smell of garlic and onions sizzling away in the kitchen, and immediately we are remembering meals with family and friends. Several months ago, I saw a video of an elderly ballerina no longer able to move her body lightly, wheelchair bound, and Alzheimer's had her mentally bound. Yet when she heard the theme to Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake, dum, da, 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 her arms began to move with the choreography, muscle memory embedded in her, and she remembered. As we come to Maundy Thursday, remembering is our word. For this holy day is remembrance built upon remembrance. Do you remember? <laughs> that when Jesus and his friends gathered to celebrate the Passover meal, they were remembering, as Exodus 12, 14 said, this day shall be a day of remembrance for you. The Passover called for remembrance of their deliverance from Egypt, how the angel of death passed over the homes of the Hebrew people. As Jesus and his friends remembered, he took the bread and he broke it. And he lifted up the cup and he said, do this in remembrance of me. New memories of a new covenant built upon memories of deliverance the continued narrative of God's love for humanity, all held in the sacred act of remembering. This remembering of Jesus' actions and words carried so much weight that Paul wrote to the church in Corinth and he said, For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you. Memories passed from one generation of Christ followers to the next, to the next, and to the next. So friends, why do we remember? Well, certainly we remember Jesus' sacrifice, how his death was for the sake of love and life full and forever. This sacred meal, became the symbol of the night that he was betrayed. And with that, we recall his command to his friends that night. In John 13, 34, Jesus said to them, I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. Baptists hold the Lord's Supper as a sacred act ordained by our Lord. We share this meal today because Jesus is headed to the cross and he commands us to remember him.
do this and remember me. May we hear these words and like the ballerina as she remembered the movements to Swan Lake, we remember our Lord and Savior and we remember to love. Would you pray with me, please? Creator of past, present, and future remembrances, we hold this Maundy Thursday sacred. In the eating of the bread of life and taking from the cup of salvation, may we remember our Lord Jesus Christ, his life, his teachings, his sacrifice, his love. May we repeat this ritual, and when we do, always be reminded to love as he loved, to be his light to all. God, we thank you. We thank you for this sacred remembrance, and we pray in Christ's holy name. Amen.